He sends me a text on Shabbat, sends me a text and says, I'm coming to the AQ tonight, I would like you to bring a poem. So I do. He doesn't specifically request anything, typically, but uh, so I brought a piece to share tonight. And normally, I mean, I, I do a lot of erotic poetry, a lot of heavy political stuff, or like breakup type stuff, and I was like, fuck it, I haven't done anything positive in a long time. So this is something from my early, 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 early days in the slam, when everything I did was positive. So it's a more saccharine shit. Woo! I still like it. <laughs> this is a sort of homecoming. Four years old in the Catholic school. Too young to enter the public school system. I wasn't Catholic. It was close. A stick figure with an afro. I kept up just fine, but for the one time, a misunderstanding about a bus change left me stranded at school. Three o'clock high on a sunny mid-May mid afternoon, I watched the last bus slip away, carrying with it any concerns I may have had. At four years old, life was too fast to give a damn, too slow to worry. I walked. What should have been a one-mile hike turned to five since the only way I knew was the bus route. Sauntering a sidewalk that may have well been the yellow brick road, counting down bus stops one by one, breathing in the world, hugged by the sun. Some accidents are perfect. But you'll never believe that, will you, Mom? Two and a half hours later, missed by my family and the neighbors and the police, the school and everybody else you found fit to call in a panic. Where the fuck is my son? Sounded like the door broke when I reached the top of the driveway, greeted by surprise stares of how and why I hadn't been eaten or beaten, oozed from my siblings' slightly disappointed faces, <laughs> bespattered by your tears. Flying like sting hail, hard enough to break even the best of moods, but too fast to give a damn, too slow to worry, I stepped in the front door with a grin bigger than daylight, held out my hand and belted out the whole story with a single word. Look! Showing off a handful of the coolest rocks you've ever seen. <laughs> the iridescent tear streaks that ran down your cheeks seemed out of place when your hair and expression changed to a dizzy gaze of astonished calm when you saw that I wasn't scared. You see, Mom, I'm all right. I'm always going to be all right. You didn't send me out into the world a bag full of clean underwear, good advice, and welcome warnings telling me to go be a man. You didn't need to. I'm no different than that stick figure of a boy chasing a phantom bus route on my own volition, walking the streets head down, pan for gold, and I'll never be alone because the birds and squirrels still talk to me when I stop to say hi. The leaves still whisper secrets in the breeze and the sun still holds me safe and warm. Not all who wander are lost. Me, life, the world, they're all out there somewhere and I'm going to find them someday but I got to keep looking and I can go for hours or days or years and it's going to get dark sometimes but I'm not scared because my grin is still bigger than daylight and if it rains that's just more puddles to splash in and if it snows I can finally go sledding again and if she breaks my heart I've got a whole bottle of glue and some glitter too. I'm coming home. I'm looking for home, and I know I'll find it someday, and I bet that when I get there, I'm going to have a handful of the coolest rocks you've ever seen.